hello guys in this tutorial we are discussing about the second type of operators okay we are discussing about the second type of operators that is nothing but relational operators okay relational operators okay when it comes to relational operators we have especially we have four different kinds of relational operators available in python okay let us see all those one by one okay first symbol is greater than okay greater than second one is less than third one is greater than or equal to and fourth one is less than or equal to okay so these are uh, basic mathematical operators only okay uh, i hope all of you know this uh, mathemat uh, i mean all, all of you know this operators in mathematics okay same thing we can apply in uh, python also okay let us see how these will work in python with a few examples okay let me go to the ideally and then uh, i'll show you how this will work suppose now i'm creating two variables x equal 10 and y equal to 20 now my x value became 10 and y value became 20 now i am first okay first relationship of i mean first uh, relational operator i am explaining is nothing but greater than okay greater than now in this greater than what happens now x value is 10 greater than y okay x value is what 10 y value is what 20 actually 10, 10 greater than 20 no right so 10, 10 is not greater than 20 so obviously in this case okay in this case my output should be false because that condition is not getting satisfied okay so it is false now let me explain one more example now i have x value okay i have x value called 200 let us think that it is 2 okay i have um, i have a value called as 200 okay i'm checking whether it is greater than now uh, 111 one, one, okay if it is okay 2 222 is greater than a triple one right so in this case okay in this case obviously it is true because the okay the number okay the two numbers which we are checking is obviously true so it will return true okay so in this case it will return true now next operator okay now next operator which we are talking about is less than okay less than this is nothing but less than so how less than will work we'll see now x value is what 10 and y value is 20 so 10 less than 20 this is the condition what it is going to check inside that so 10 less than 20 so in this case 10 is obviously less than 20 right so in this case it is written okay it will return true because the condition is getting satisfied here okay so here so here it is true okay in this case it is definitely true now let us uh, check one more thing okay 222 less than triple one okay 222 less than triple one in this case okay in this case this is this condition is not getting satisfied right in this case this condition is not getting satisfied at all so in this case obviously it is uh, false because 222 is greater than uh, triple one it is not uh, okay less than triple one so in this case it is obviously false okay so in this way we can work with less than now let me take you to the next operator called as greater than or equal to okay this is nothing but greater than or equal to okay greater than or equal to let us see how this will work now think that x value is also 10 and y value is also 10 now x greater than or equal to y see whenever x greater than or equal to should be true means it should satisfy any of these two conditions either whether it should satisfy equal to condition or else it should satisfy greater than condition in this way okay in this case my x value is what 10 okay 10 and my y value is also 10 so 10 greater than or equal to 10 so in this case what is the output 10 greater than or equal to 10 so of course greater than condition is not getting satisfied but equal to condition is getting satisfied right so in this case okay, in this so in this case obviously it is true because any one condition is satisfying means that's true only okay 10 greater than or equal to 10 okay equal to condition is satisfying that's why it is uh, true now think that 20 greater than or equal to 10 so in this case <coughs> in this case 20 is obviously 
greater than 10 of course it is not equal to 10 but at least one condition is getting satisfied right greater, greater than condition is getting satisfied so obviously in this case output should be true only because uh, 20 is greater than 10 so see in this way in this way we can work with greater than or equal to operator now let's move to the last operator that is nothing but less than or equal to okay that is nothing but less than or equal to okay, let's see how this will work okay less then r equal to okay, less than r equal to let's see how this will work okay x value is what now 10 and y value is what 20 y value is also 10 right so let's work with this condition okay less than r equal to okay less than r equal to x less than r equal to y x value is y i mean x value is 10 and uh, y value is also 10 okay 10 less than r equal to 10 so less than or equal to condition should should get satisfied means whether it should be okay whether it should be less than or equal to okay any one of these conditions should satisfy okay any one condition among these should get satisfied since uh, equal to condition is, condition is getting satisfied it should return true okay since equal to condition is getting satisfied it, it should return true see in this case okay so in this way it will return true because equal to condition is getting satisfied now 10 less than or equal to 20 okay in this case of course equal to condition is not getting satisfied but at least one condition okay less than condition is getting satisfied right so if any one of the condition is getting satisfied obviously it will return true only so in this case less than condition is getting satisfied so it is a true only okay it is true because less than condition is getting satisfied now now here i want to cover few more points that is nothing but we can okay we can apply we, we can apply these relationship operators not only for integers okay we can apply these relationship operators for boolean values also okay let us see how we can apply these relationship operators for the boolean values okay so before okay before applying for the boolean values let me cover you one point here okay true in in the uh, in boolean data types true will be considered as one okay true will be considered as one inside memory and false will be considered as okay false will be considered as zero inside memory okay inside memory false is zero and true is one now in this case in this case if i check a true greater than true so in this case true greater than true one greater than one so now in this case what is my output Okay, in this case what is my output so one is not greater than one right so the condition is not getting satisfied so obviously in this case out, output is false okay output is false let me check another condition okay true less than true so true one less than one here also condition is not getting satisfied okay he, in this case also condition is get not getting satisfied so obviously output is false only okay now in the in, let us see other condition okay true greater than false okay two uh, greater than false true is one and uh, greater than zero okay one is okay one is obviously greater than zero right so in this case obviously it will return true okay one is greater than zero so in this case it will return true only okay now false less than true okay false less than true false is what zero less than 1 so 0 is obviously less than 1 right so 0 is obviously less than 1 so obviously in this case also it will return true only okay now let us see greater than or equal to and less than or equal to okay true greater than or equal to true okay since uh, equal to condition okay since uh, equal to condition is getting satisfied okay 1 greater than or equal to 1 here equal to condition is getting satisfied right so obviously it will return true only okay now let me take you to another thing okay less than or equal to true less than or equal to false okay and now true is what one one less than or equal to zero okay one one is not equal to zero one is not less than zero so obviously in this case it will return false okay in this case it will return false okay let me okay let me explain with one last example 
okay false greater than or equal to true okay false is zero zero greater than or equal to one so zero is obviously not greater than or equal to one okay zero is not uh, greater than or equal to one so in this case again it is false okay in this case also again it is false so in this way we can work with relational relationship operators with with both the integers also with the boolean values also we can do with okay we can work with the relationship operators i hope all of you understand this concept thank you so much bye